Hey guys, what's up? Let's play Master 31 here, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use DxTory in their proper settings. If you don't know what DxTory is, DxTory is an alternative gaming software like Fraps or Bandicam that is mainly used to record video games on the computer. So today we're going to show you how to optimize it completely, where you can get it to run in HD, maybe 1080p, at a really high quality and sound quality. So, first off, we're going to show you the write speed on the hard drive and setting the file directory. Me, I set it to the desktop, but I'm going to set it in the folder soon. But if you want, you can use it whatever you want, like a folder. So, what is what helps is you benchmark the write speed from your hard drive. If we click on run right here, it'll determine the writing speed of your hard drive, of what it, uh, how fast it can record write files and st save the files all on the computer. So mine's about 99 megabytes per second. So that is very useful and that's pretty good for my computer. Okay, for the hotkeys, you wanna set your start movie capture to F12, which is the default, which I find very, very useful. Or the executive single screenshot, if you want, F11. Most of these are your choice and I don't know about these, just keep them blank. Now we're going to move on to the actual settings. The settings I have uh, for the codec is Lagris Lossless Codec. The codec helps you make the file size smaller, and I'll put a link in that in the description. Also, the frame rates. The frame rate is actually your choice. It doesn't really matter, but for me, I use 29.97. If you have a faster computer, you can use 60 FPS or 120 FPS. Depends how well your computer can handle it as well. Also, uh, keep all these the same. Scroll down to the scaling. The size, I keep it at 1280 by 720. Or, um, or if you can go higher if you want. It's optional, but that's if you want. So we're going to click on the show configuration dial box. This is needed. You click on use multi-threading. It's useful for games that actually has multi-threading enabled. So it helps you record it with multi-threading without a problem. In the mode YVU12. YVU12 is what I use, but you can use the others if you want. But for, for, for me, I use y, YVU... Well, wait. YV... 12, I mean, YV12, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what I use. Okay, so if we scroll over to the, okay, for the audio, you can just click the plus and you'll add another audio device, like, for me, my microphone. But I also use your normal standard audio, audio setting plugin. All right, the screenshot settings, you keep the same. And everything else is fine and global settings check updates if you want if you want to get a newer version and yeah that's about it so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope it helps you get your gaming perform gaming videos going and i hope you find this very helpful so have a great time have an awesome day everyone and peace out